Hey, creative people. My name is Kira Jo. This is Creative Pursuits. Today's video looks a little bit different than my usual, and that's because um, I have been setting up these bird feeders this week. So over the weekend, my husband and I noticed that we were starting to get lots of little neighborhood birds because it's winter here, there's snow on the ground, and the birds don't have as much to eat and as much to go do. Oh, sorry if you can hear my cat. He's meowing near me because it's dinner time. Um, anyway, so we've been seeing a lot of birds lately, and we decided it might be a fun project this winter for us to set up a couple of bird feeders around our house and see if we can't uh, get some birds. And obviously it's worked. So I've been able to enjoy lots of birds around our or our, our house. I bought a house, by the way. We're in a house now um, that we are we own, sort of. We're paying for it still, obviously. We didn't just buy it, but <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm going off into all this. The point is, here are all of these birds that I've been enjoying watching through the window, um, and they've really been inspiring me to take video and photos of them, and I thought it might be also fun to draw them because I've just been enjoying watching how they behave and, uh, you know, how they act towards each other. And my cats have been enjoying the birds too. They've been watching them from the window. So anyway, these are some photos that I took of the birds um, the last couple of days. And I thought it would be fun to use some of these photos as drawing references. So some of the ways that I find um, to get inspiration when I'm not sure what I want to draw or what I want to create is uh, enjoying observing the world around me. And so right now I'm observing these birds a lot. I thought they'd make a good subject. And um, I would recommend that you do something similar. Maybe go on a walk or just look around your house or look through your windows and see if there's not something that, that sparks something within you creatively. So, uh, I had done a while back a page in my sketchbook where I drew a bunch of bears and I just did, I just found bear images on uh, Google and I looked at other people's photos and used them as reference and did a whole bunch of sketches of bears in different poses and different types of bears. And I really enjoyed that exercise. I don't typically draw animals. I draw people and I draw plants most of the time. So I feel like I'm a little weak when it comes to animals and when it comes to backgrounds, um, landscapes, and that kind of thing. And so I decided that I would challenge myself to do something similar to that bear page in my sketchbook because I really enjoyed how those bears turned out and it was a lot of fun to draw them because I hadn't really drawn bears um, from observation probably ever before. I think when we're kids, we tend to draw whatever animals come to mind and we just draw them how we think they look, but we don't draw them from reference typically unless you're a kid that's really into art at an early age. Um, and so anyway, I, I found that exercise really enlightening and I learned that I could draw bears, even though it was something that I'd never drawn before. Because with drawing, kind of no matter what you draw, if you um, do some studies and you observe lots of reference images, um, and how other people have drawn or painted something, you can learn how to draw it too if you just know how to observe. And so, anyway, I really enjoyed drawing these birds and I think some of them turned out pretty good. I think this was a really good reminder to me that drawing things that I'm not as comfortable with, that are a little out of my comfort zone, can be really good and uh, can kind of get me out of a creative rut. I haven't been sketching in my sketchbook as often lately, um, and it's sometimes hard for me still to think of what I want to draw, even when I have prompt lists and stuff like that. And so, anyway, I'd like to do some kind of series, I think, in my sketchbook where I just use different animals and do a whole bunch of sketches like I did here, where I just took lots of different birds in different poses and doing different things and different types of birds. and. Uh, tried to sketch them all out and I really like how they all look together because you kind of get more of an understanding of This form of a bird um, when you see it from all these different angles and um, in different positions I feel like as I drew these I got used to the same shapes um, Every bird I pretty much started with a small circle for its head and then drew 
the big shape for its body and they all have this little you know tail feather they have lots of different types of feathers and i really enjoyed drawing that and trying to figure out how to do that with so few lines i wanted these sketches to be just that just really sketchy i didn't want them to be complete pieces i didn't want to add color i just wanted them to be um you know a quick rendering of what i was looking at um just communicating the the form of the birds and all of the shapes of their body and the the movement with as few lines as possible or not i guess not as few lines just with with not very much detail i wasn't trying to go for realism and shading i was just trying to get the shapes down and practice that um, anyway as i practiced each one of these birds i felt like i got a better understanding of how their bodies are made up and um yeah it was just it was a lot of fun and i'm starting to feel like i might be a bird watcher i just really have enjoyed seeing these guys through my window um, and watching their behavior. But anyway, this whole video, the point of this is I want to challenge you to do something similar. I think that you should find some way to go out of your comfort zone in, um, in something that you like to create, whether that's writing or music or art, makeup, whatever it is that you do that is creative. I challenge you to find a way to go out of your comfort zone with it. Um, that could be, you know, using tools that you normally don't use, or it could be, um, you know, doing a different type of subject than you normally do. I kind of did that, I think, in two ways with this, because I'm not used to sketching animals, and then I also typically sketch with a pencil and paper in my sketchbook. And so this was a little different because I was sketching digitally. Um, I usually only do digital illustrations and paintings. I don't often just sketch and leave it as a sketch. Anyway, so I really enjoyed this. I hope that you really enjoy this, um, both you know watching me sketch these birds and also that you enjoy whatever you decide to create. Um, and I hope that you stay creative and have a great day. Bye.